So we're just starting the day here. We're going to take JRH out today. First thing I want to do is pop the wing locker. Check in here. I got a rag, plugs, and our tool kit. The rag I'll take for the oil check. Toolkit should have our fuel tester in here. Fuel tester. So, just a quick inspection of the outside. I have already. Oh, we're missing a static wick. I've already checked the lights with the master on and turned that off just to save the battery. Uh, we're looking for these vortex generators along the top. And for the condition of the boots, patches are okay. You're going to see patches, they're old plates. And we need to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. and dry. Screws need to be red to red. If they're not, it could pop open. Look in here. Make sure our alternate air opens. Oh, it was supposed to pop back. any sediment or water looks good seven of these on the aircraft right here. That's how the plane tells the gears up. So let me just test that. Give the oleo a wipe. Get any crud off there. Don't know why one of the trading captains just likes it that way. Not uncommon. Try again, it's fine. Come on in all of them. 
get it to close. flying off the propellers in flight. That's why you got a little pad here. Some planes you'll see their stainless steel. Boy, this thing could use a wash. Got streaks all down it. Right side oil. Oh, this one's a twist, so this plane doesn't have the same Type of oil stick both sides. Okay, one of these sides is gonna say right side. Left engine, right engine, and say we're about nine. tighten it, it heats up in flight, and then you can't get her off. Just the fuel under this swing. It's all wet. Not a great design, but it's what we gotta work with. Rudder trim looks good. This is your trim tab. This is how we take the forces so we're not fighting the plane whole flight. You see the trim tab on the rudder, that should be straight. The one of the yellow beater is the one that gets moved. The other one shouldn't have to be moved. Four passengers today, and you can see we only have two seats in, so I gotta throw a couple seats in here. Emergency exit, uh, window pops out. 
This is our one with the glass cockpit. I'm told the autopilot works, but I'm seeing in-op written right there, so we'll see. My side. And captain's side. We have one, two, three GPSs in here, plus the glass cockpit. It's fairly spacious, really. Overhead switches for your engines. Fuel gauges, fuel pumps, no smoking in seat belt sign, all that good stuff. Well, I got to put some seats in this and then go take it for a run up, so I will see you guys later. Guys, we dropped off last time actually we're just waiting for them to get the second truckload uh, due to this plane's prop de ice being us we couldn't fly it to the other place because there was icing along the route and this is the only plane with a working autopilot and technically i am just an observer because i do not have my ppc yet i'm just for the experience so need an autopilot for single pilot and you need prop de ice to go through icing so we're back in Poplar River instead. Shorter trip. It's a very windy day. We were having like a 40 knot headwind on the way here. Uh, which means we'll have a lovely tailwind on the way back and get back real quick. But yeah, we're just waiting for the guys to get the last load in the truck. Wasn't a bad day. Fairly smooth. 